I actually have tried Italian okay. beef before. I love it. Pizza, pasta. Um, I even have like an Italian coffee pot tattoo. Jeez. Can we perfect garlic bread? Hello everyone, welcome to Food for Thought at Karin, where we get to know some of the best food options on campus. I'm your host Manish. And I'm Dan. And today we are trying some of the finest Italian options from La Vida. Andiamo! So today we are trying food from La Vida, based in Exchange Precinct, and they serve Italian food. So Dan, have you ever tried Italian food before? I've never even heard of Italian food. Really? Well, you said you are Italian. I just said it was Maltese. <laughs> I actually have tried Italian okay, yeah. before. I love it. Pizza, pasta. Um, I even have like an Italian coffee pot tattoo. Jeez. Before we get to taste the food, let's know more about your degree. What do you do? What do you study? I'm doing a Bachelor of Computing. Um, I enjoy it a lot. It's challenging, but every problem that they give you is like a puzzle. If I have a problem that I can't figure out, I hate it. But the moment I solve that problem, I love it and I'm the greatest programmer in the world. Just for that day, until I find the next bug. When then I'm the worst programmer in the world again. All right. So the first option that we got today is cheesy pizza garlic bread. Let's taste it. Yeah, let's go. Looks like there's some herbs on top. Well, it's definitely pizza with cheese and garlic on it. It's exactly what you expect. Pretty much simple stuff. Mm. Is it fulfilling your Italian buds, taste buds? Yeah, this is definitely hitting the Italian size spot in my stomach, I think. It's definitely a good pizza base. How do you like it? Like thin crust? I mean, I will have any pizza, but I definitely prefer a thinner crust. Have you ever seen someone oh, eat the yeah. other way before? You're biting it from here and the stuff just falls out from there. If your aim is to make your mouth, that's what you do. Tell me, where are you living exactly? In a shared accommodation or like in your private house? I actually live on campus, so I'm at Kurojong Village and uh, it's been great. You don't really get lonely, like I've made like a lot of friends from like a lot of different backgrounds I don't think I would have met otherwise. So. Oh yeah. Okay, the second option that we have is Margarita Pizza. I do like the splodges of cheese. Another thin crust, amazing. Yeah, thin crust is really good. Yeah. I think it's like, they're trying to make it look good. This is good Margarita Pizza. Mm. I like it. From bite one, I can say that. This is a good margarita pizza. The tomato sauce is salty. It's good. It goes with the cheese. And the thin crust is really fine. It melts away in your mouth. It's really nice. It's a good size as well. Like, oh. that's big. Buy one, eat twice. So it's your lunch and then also your dinner. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's if you manage to save some for later. So then, do you have any comfort food? Like, do you have anything that you can eat for the whole day? Like, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Oh, definitely. I, I really like baguettes. Like I'll bake a batch and then that, that'll be all I eat for two days straight. Sandwiches for lunch and then like garlic bread for dinner. And what about you? I can do the same thing with biryani. You can just have it in the morning, lunch and dinner. And I've done it before. So it's really, it feels really nice. So for the third option, we have actually two options. The one is Sorrento gnocchi. This one is fried eggplants. The one that I'm tasting, this is called penne polo pasta. This is basically pasta, some type of mushroom, chicken, with some parmesan. I am so ready. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Oh, that's good. There's heaps of gnocchi, like it's a huge serving. Anything with, with mushrooms is really good, man. The pasta is well cooked. The mushrooms are tasting so good. And the parmesan is all over the place. How is your thing tasting, Dan? So, um, it is a salty dish, but that's exactly what I wanted. The eggplant is nice and soft and tasty. And how do you like egg eggplants? One of my parents told me when I was young that we don't have eggplant because the skin is poisonous and I believe them well up until I was an adult. I think my, my parents just didn't like it. So <laughs> maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> so have you changed after coming to Gurdon? Like, is there any change that you feel in yourself? I think so. I, I think I'm more driven. So I started off, I was trying my best, but my marks weren't quite there. And I've learned how to study better. I've learned how to make myself stuff like I'm more organized. I'm definitely not the same as when I started. Shift in the better direction? I hope so, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so fourth and last option of the day is tiramisu. I've got a coffee tiramisu and then you've got a? Stro I've got a strawberry tiramisu. That's great. I've got a sweet tooth, so I'm really looking forward to this. You know food's good when everyone goes quiet. It's like really soft and fluffy. And when you eat it, it just melts in your mouth. There's strawberry bits inside it. Oh yeah, it's sweet. It's good. I'm gonna try the strawberry on top. That's good. It feels like they've um, soaked it in something sweet. And like you can clearly see the layers. So you've got like yeah. the foam layer, the cake layer, then the strawberry bit layer. It's really good. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So Final thoughts time. Dan, out of all the foods that you tried today, which one was your favorite? I have, definitely have to say the margarita. Margarita pizza? Yeah, I really enjoyed it a lot. It was great. Um, 
not the the strawberry thing. Not that the... was really good too. I mean, I do have the sweet tooth, but um, no, the the margarita pizza just was oh, better. Yeah. For me, it was the coffee tiramisu. I would definitely, yeah. I would just love to finish this thing and just go for that. Well, I mean, coffee and sugar combined with cake. <laughs> Can't go wrong. Thank you for watching this episode of Food for Thought at We'll see you at La Vida. Ciao.